asynchronous control flow with callbacks so that uh, default way of uh, node js that handles asynchronous functions by registering callbacks they handles asynchronous function by registering callbacks that should be executed once and asynchronous function is completed that should be executed once and asynchronous function is completed but without a lot of discipline a developer risk falling into the trap of the callback hell of highly unmaintainable and unreadable code unreadable code so that asynchronous functions are handled by registering callbacks so that should that should be executed only once here so for handling for that asynchronous control flow with callbacks we are having some callbacks function sequence sequence control okay so first we'll see the, what is callbacks here what is javascript callbacks so a callback is a function pass as an argument to another function callback is a function passed as an argument to another function we are going to pass function as an argument to another function here so this technique allows a function to call another function function calling another function here as an argument so a callback function can run after another function has finish so what is the function sequence for that so we know that javascript functions are executed in the sequence they are called the functions are executed in the sequence they are called not in the sequence they are defined here you can see first we are going to define the my first function then we are going to define the uh, function my second so that javascript does not executed like that they are defined they are executing like in the sequence they are called here okay so first it could call my my first then my second so it will first uh, it will push that my second fun call my second function into the stack so it will move towards the my second function it is having my display function with the statement goodbye so first it will print goodbye statement here okay here this example will end up by displaying a goodbye statement okay if that my function my first function is present at last so it will execute first my first function okay so it will print hello okay that means javascript functions are executed in the sequence they are called okay so next one is sequence control so sometimes you have you would like to have better control over when to execute a function when to execute a particular functions we have to control the that sequence so suppose if you want to do calculation and then we want to display the result so first you could call a calculator function like my calculator then we are going to save the result and then call another function like my displayer to display the result here you can see the example we are having one function function my displayer okay with the parameter like sum it contains document dot get element by id how to get that element by id in bracket demo dot inner html is equals to sum so this is the sub like uh, html file we are going to include here we are going to get that element by id okay so we are having another function like my calculator having parameters number 1 and number 2 so in this function we are going to calculate uh, we, are, we are going to add the number like let sum is equals to number 1 plus number 2 and we are going to return that sum okay and we are going to close the body of my calculator function we are going to save the result into sum okay now then now we are going to call another function like here we have to call that my display function to display the result so we are going to display the result like let result is equals to my calculator 5 comma 5 here we are going to pass the value to that my calculator function and here you can see we are going to call my display function and we are going to display the result here that result contains the parameter and we are going to add that numbers okay so this is the way we can control this uh, sequence of that code here so or we can call the calculator function that is my calculator and let the function call the display function that is function here now we are going to use uh, 
call back here call back here okay so here you can see we are having function my display okay then we are having function my calculator in that function we are going to pass having some parameters like number one and number two and we are going to add these numbers by like let sum is equals to num1 plus num2 and here you can see we are directly displaying the result of that summation okay like my displayer inside the bracket sum and at after that we are going to pass the values to that my calculator function in these two examples this and this you can see that the problem with that first example is that you have to call two functions to display the result here you can see in the first example you can see we have to call two functions to display the result like here my display and here first we are going to use that my calculator function and after calculating this we are going to save the result into one variable and we are going to then call my display function to display the result that means we are going to call two functions for displaying the result okay so and in this example in the second example the problem with this that we cannot prevent the calculator function from displaying the result because we are going to write that my display function inside that uh, my calculator function here you can see we are going to call that my display function inside that uh, my calculator function okay so how callback works here so that we have seen that callback is a function pass as an argument to another function that means callbacks are the fundamental elements of writing a synchronous js code these are the fundamental elements of writing a synchronous javascript code so however they have many flaws and programmers needs more reliable and clear solution for that whenever you are going to create a piece of code that does something asynchronously that means a uh, fetches data from a server reads a file from a disk okay so you probably don't want to wait until that process ends so preferably leaving the code instructions that will be called later those are called as callbacks that means call me back when you finish with your execution okay this is that is the callbacks here so we have seen that example for uh, calculation of numbers that is using a callback you could call the calculator function like uh, my calculator with a callback and let the calculator function run the callback after the calculation is finished like this here you can see the example with calculation of numbers with the callback like we are having function my display okay then here function my calculator number one number two and my callback my callback is another function we are going to pass this my callback function as an argument to this function my calculator here you can see the body of that function my calculator contains that let sum is equal to number one plus number two now my callback will contain the sum variable that is that my callback will print the addition of this number one plus number two okay so here after executing this here you can see we are going to pass the value like my calculator 5 comma 5 these are the values for number one and number two and my display functions here you can see my display functions we are going to pass as an parameter to my calculator function okay now this is the callback here here you can see that my display is the name of function okay my display is the name of function and it is passed to my calculator as an argument here you can see we are going to pass this my display function as an argument to my calculator function that is the callback my display is the callback here now okay so when you pass a function as an argument remember not to use parenthesis here we haven't used any parenthesis for my display function in this way this is the right way to write like whenever we are going to pass any function as an argument we have to write like this okay not like this don't give parenthesis to that function whenever we are going to pass that function as an argument remember that not to use parenthesis okay so when to use this callbacks so that uh, callbacks are generally used when the function needs to perform events before the callback is executed callbacks are used when function needs to perform some events before that callback is executed or when the function does not have meaningful return values to act on it 
so like it is the case for asynchronous javascript based on timers or some request http request okay so at that time we can use callbacks okay so that's it for today's session we will stop here thank you